Hey guys, Tarek Merryface here. Let's talk about what finding wind velocity and direction. I really posted a video on this. I was really confused about it. I did the maths and it was radically different than what I was finding on the CRP and on the question on the answers. Turned out I was doing it wrong. So these are the proper steps. Uh, just have a read through and I'll actually go through them right now so you can see what I'm doing. So first step, place the task in the center dot. So you go find the task. Is 110. Just so you know, there are a lot of these questions in the general navigation, in um, in uh, in the ATP exams. Okay, so you've got task 110 knots. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to place the heading at the top. So 270. Okay, now I do this slight. This bit is to do slightly different than what they say is I'm going to mark both sides because now we say mark drift and ground speed intercept. The drift is going to be the difference between the heading and the track as we talked previously. So that's three zero degrees. So it's going to be three zero and at a ground speed of 100 knots. So 100 knot line, 30 degrees. And I'm going to mark both sides irrelevant of which direction the wind is coming. Now think about it this way. If we're having, if we're flying at a heading of 270, but our track is going along that way, then the wind must be coming from here, from the left. Therefore, we're going to get a left drift, and the the actual heading of the wind should be less than 270. So we're going to rotate it clockwise. There you go, and you're going to get this center dot, this dot at the bottom. Uh, to get a smaller value than 270 so that we get a wind coming from the left. It's a nice, you know, easy way to try and work out which dot to use. We can actually get rid of this one right here. Put it there, and that's actually it. All you have to do now is count. So 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, 100 and... Sorry, <laughs> sorry, I don't know what I'm saying. Sorry about that. Let's go again. 110. 1... Two, three, four, five, fifty-five knots. So we've got fifty-five knots wind coming from two zero four or two zero five. So that is the wind. The wind is so let's write it down down here equals two zero five fifty-five knots. That is the answer to this question. Easy, right? Really easy. It's. I got confused because I kept on putting the the track first, and obviously that meant that I had to rotate the wind in the the, the thing in the other side. It just, it was a mess. So that is the correct way of doing it. Have a read through this and practice this question yourself. And I'll see you guys next time. If you got any questions or anything you want me to go through again. Just go through the comments, video response, whatever you want. Okay, well, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.